if I made this mistake, then I'm sure it's something that could happen to you at some point too. These are both A0255 UW waterproof ultrasonic sensors, but still they are not the same because one of them is a UART type and the other one is PWM. Which one is the best out of these two? I will explain this in a minute. Design wise, they are exactly the same. Their front, their big side, even their wires are the same. Just by looking at these sensors, you can't tell which one is the UART and which one is the PWM. How did I find out? Well, let me tell you. I had already made a detailed video about the UART version of the a 2 y uw waterproof ultrasonic sensor. After a few days, I needed some more ultrasonic sensors, so I went on Amazon and purchased five ultrasonic sensors. At that time, I didn't even know there was a PWM version of this ultrasonic sensor, so I placed the order without checking. Anyway, when I received the ultrasonic sensors and connected them to the board, the serial monitor was not giving me any output. At first, I thought maybe this ultrasonic sensor was faulty, so I tried another sensor, but I didn't get any output from that one either. Just like this, I tested all the ultrasonic sensors one by one. And when I would connect the UART version of the a 0 y uw ultrasonic sensor, it would work perfectly. Anyway, to confirm those ultrasonic sensors, I went back to Amazon and when I saw there were two types, PWM and UART. So it was totally my mistake because I wasn't aware of the versions. Anyway, for the PWM version of the a 0 2 the waterproof ultrasonic sensor, I wrote another program and then it started to work. Now, let me explain which one is the best, the UART or the PWM version. The UART version of the sensor typically performs distance calculations internally and sends the result to the microcontroller or another receiving device as a digital value. This approach can significantly simplify the integration process, unlike the PWM version which requires the receiving device to measure pulse widths, a process that involves accurately timing the duration of signal's highs. The UART version communicates the calculated distance directly via serial data. This direct communication not only simplifies programming by eliminating the need for code that measures time intervals, but also conserves processing resources on the microcontroller. Since the microcontroller or receiving device no longer needs to allocate cycles to capture and calculate pulse widths, it can use these resources for other tasks or enter a low power state to save energy. Additionally, having the sensor handle distance calculations can increase measurement accuracy and reliability. Since the sensor is designed specifically for ultrasonic distance measurement, it can apply precise timing and correction algorithms that might be difficult to implement accurately on a general purpose microcontroller. Factors such as temperature variations, which affect the speed of sound and other environmental conditions can be more accurately counted for within the sensor's firmware. Moreover, digital communication via UART reduces the risk of errors associated with signal timing and interpretation, further enhancing the reliability of the distance measurements. In essence, while both PWM and UART versions serve the primary function of measuring distances using ultrasonic waves, the UART version's approach to data communication offers distinct advantages in ease of integration, programming simplicity, processing efficiency, and potential accuracy of measurements. These benefits make the UART version particularly appealing for complex applications or when multiple sensors need to be managed simultaneously as it streamlines both the hardware and software aspects of sensor integration. So, my choice is the UART version of the a 0 y uw waterproof ultrasonic sensor. If you have never used this sensor before, then I highly recommend you should watch my getting started video because in that video, I've explained all the technical specifications and how to use it with Arduino ESP32 and Node MCU ESP8266 module. I will add a link in the description. Right now, I have connected the UART version of the A02YY UW waterproof ultrasonic sensor. And don't get confused with this board, it's just a development board. Actually, I designed it for the SIM 7600G4G LTE module. I will add a link in the description if you would like to make the same development board. Anyway, you can also do the same exact connections on a breadboard. For the connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. I have these two programs. This one is written for the UART version and this one is written for the PWM version. The UART version code I have already explained in the getting started video and 
The PWM version programming is just like the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. You can download these programs from website electronicclinic.com. Let's upload these programs one by one. You can see the URD version of the A022YQW waterproof ultrasonic sensor is working perfectly. Now let's upload the PWM version programming. It's not working because the program that I just uploaded is written for the PWM version of the ultrasonic sensor. So let's connect the PWM version of the A022YUW waterproof ultrasonic sensor. Now it's working while the PWM version of the ultrasonic sensor is connected. Let's try the program that's written for the UART version of the A02YUW waterproof ultrasonic sensor. It's not working, so you practically saw the URD version programming doesn't work with the PWM version of the a 0 2 uw and vice versa. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.